So today I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how to calculate the forces from a UFO CFD flow solution. I've already loaded a file here and the file is octree.btk. And this is from the validation test case of the RAE2822 airfoil. And because it's a 2D test case, um, solver's just using a slice of the domain. So we just specify a thin slice over the airfoil. So in order to calculate the forces on, on this airfoil, first need to generate the distance field surface. And in order to do that, we need to do cell data to point data. So then we can select the contour surface, select distance, distance field, select zero. That will give us the distance field at a distance of zero. Because it's a thin slice, we've also got zero surface on these two Z planes, so we need to get rid of that. Clip that. Clip it on one side, and then clip it again on the other side, and that's done. So that's our Air Force surface. And on that surface, we can then see the pressure on the surface. So you can see high pressure. The nose, low pressure on the top, and the shock wave. So, in order to create the force components, I need to use a calculator um, to calculate pressure times normal. So we're going to call this array forces. Like pressure and normals. So now we've got a force vector, and we just want to integrate that across the surface. So we can select integrate variables, and that gives us our three force components. We've got an X force of 402, which is the drag force. We've got a Y force 14426. That's our lift force. And then the Z force is roughly zero. So, to summarize, you load in your BTK file. Cell data to point data, create a contour surface of the zero distance field, and in this case, we've had to clip away some of the surface. Then you create your force vector, which is pressure times normals, and then you integrate that over the surface. That gives you your three force components. If you haven't got normals on the surface, um, for whatever reason, it may be necessary to um, 
use the generate surface normals function there to create some surface normals or use the calculator function. So that's that. So from your UFO CFD flow solution, you can integrate the pressure over the surface and get your force components. And once you've got those, you can use those values to then calculate your drag coefficient or your lift coefficient um, based on the, the other values such as the, the surface landform surface of the airfoil and your um, alpha v squared which is your dynamic pressure.